Hey everyone, we are going to do a cash stuffing today. So thank you for clicking on today's video. If you are new, my name is Brittany and I am in my mid thirties. I am married with a little two year old and we are currently on a debt free journey. Everybody's journey looks a little bit different. So we believe in enjoying our life while we're paying off debt, but we are making a conscious effort to really pay down um, the debt that we have left. So currently we do have two vehicles our mortgage and student loans. So we are currently working on those student loans is our focus right now. So definitely stay tuned. I try to film a transfer Tuesday every Tuesday, but Tuesday's just been started to become a difficult day for me. So I'm trying to pre film those, but um, I did miss this past Tuesday. So I'm going to put right here how much we actually were able to put towards debt this, uh, this past week. I believe it was around $800. So we are super excited about that. We do do a debt update in those videos, but let me know if you'd rather com me combine the cash stuffing and the transfer Tuesday and just do it all in one video. Let me know. Um, but we are super excited about the progress we've made so far this year, but we're going to go ahead and jump into our cash stuffing. We're going to cash stuff our cash envelopes and our sinking funds. So this does not include bills. Bills are not in my cash stuffings at all. They are set aside. So when I get paid, I pull out the money that we need and I set it into a savings account. We are a month ahead on our bills. So I continue to save for next month's bills. And then when the first of the month comes around, I move all the money out of my savings back into my checking and I go ahead and pay all those bills. So just if you're curious as to why I don't have bill money in here, but we're going to cash stuff $497 today. So we have a hundred here and then we have 150, uh, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 460, 470, 480, 485, 490, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. So 497. Look at me for getting through that with some 50s. That was not too bad this time. So let's go ahead and jump into our cash envelopes first. Um, most of you know this is a Bella Taylor wallet. I got mine off of Amazon, but they do have a website. But I do have my Amazon link down below. This front section here is for all your cards. And that's where I keep like our insurance information, things like that. And then you do have a change pocket, which it looks like we have some change to take out so that's a good amount right there so we will put that towards our change tray that I have in the office and I do roll that and that will go into my son's savings account so um, let's see if we have any money to unstuff this week looks like we've used up groceries gas restaurants it looks like animals had a little bit of money so that's great so it looks like we have five six seven eight nine ten left in animals these are some jacked up looking ones goodness okay all right but money's money you know <laughs> all right so we have ten dollars left in animals which is great and then let's see mason had five dollars perfect and that is it okay perfect so we have five ten eleven Ooh, let's see, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 dollars left in our rollover. This will go towards next week's transfer Tuesday um, or our additional debt payment. So definitely keep a watch out for that next video. So I will set this aside and use that for the next video. I usually keep uh, my little envelope around here. Let me see. There it is. All right, so I do have our transfer Tuesday envelope right here. <laughs> my luck, it won't open. That won't be a surprise. Um, I did cut one of my envelopes just to see if I'd like it. Oh, there it goes. Um, and it's not bad. I do feel like if you put, a, you know, even this amount of bills would kind of force it to stay open a little bit more than I'd like, but I'm just not sure yet. So, but there we are. So we'll set that aside for next week. All right, so let's go ahead and stuff our cash envelopes. So first is groceries. Um, we have a lot of groceries left from last week. Um, we did a little bit more takeout than I wanted to last week uh, with my husband being sick and then I started to get sick and then my my job has just been crazy busy. Um, so we have quite a bit of groceries that we're going to roll over into this week. So we are going to cash stuff 120 for groceries instead of the 150 and hopefully we have some left over. All right gas we are going to do 50 as usual. 
I am pretty good on gas, but I imagine my husband will need some soon. Restaurants I am not going to stuff. We did already have, um, we did go out to dinner Friday night, so we will not stuff that. All right, animals. Let's see, he's going to get 40. We need to go out today and get cat food. I think, unfortunately, my cat is on her last leg. She is very old. I think she's 16. Um, I got her long time ago um, and she's just not doing well I can tell she, she's lost a lot of weight and she's got a lot she's getting a lot of mats in her hair and that's usually not like her she's a long-haired cat but she usually is very very clean um, and very soft and she's always had of course long hair and um, it's only been in the last sorry, six months or so she's starting to got a, a lot of mats um, okay, and Mason. So I just put 20 in miscellaneous and we are going to put 40 in Mason. Um, this is for his diapers, things like that. And then if there is any leftover, sometimes I'll um, put that towards like a new toy or something for him. Okay, and then this section is spending. I still have a gift card. Um, and then the back pocket is for like um, transient. So if I'm taking money from home maintenance and going to Lowe's, that kind of thing that's where they, they would go all right so we are all set with our envelope there so let's go ahead and jump into our first binder here this is more of our short-term um, saving um seeking funds all right we're going to skip date night so when when just i get paid we don't stuff near as much in these envelopes um, or in these sinking funds, when my husband gets paid, that's when we'll put more money towards these areas. So let's see, um, are we put anything in nails? We are not, which means I might be short nails this week. Let's see, I think I might have missed, yeah, that's $30, I need more than that. Okay, so I'll have to reevaluate and see if I can take any from somewhere else, because I do have a nail appointment on Monday, I forgot about. All right, so health, Let's see, we are not gonna put anything in health either, but we'll count it. We have $20 in health. This goes towards our prescriptions. All right, clothing, we're not gonna put anything in either, but we'll count it just for kicks and giggles. We do have 20 in clothing as well. All right. We might be good on clothing this year, but we'll see. All right, hair. We are going to add $5 to hair. Both my husband and son get their hair cut through this envelope. I get mine done twice a year. So it's been, I just got it done probably a month or two ago. So I have a while to go. But so $10 is in hair. This is for theirs. We did actually buy clippers. So considering my son does one length all the way around, I might try to do his own, do his hair. That way I can save the money on that one. Um, okay, birthday, we're not gonna stuff, but we'll count it. 20, 40, 45, and 50. We do have, uh, my husband's best friend, his daughter is turning one, so I'm sure we'll use that birthday money towards her um, party. All right, cake funds. We're not going to stuff either. Like I said, we don't stuff a ton on these weeks that just I get paid, but we have $5 in cake funds. So I am called a retired pastry chef, and so I do cakes for my family on the side. So this covers the cost of those ingredients instead of it coming out of my grocery bill or my grocery budget. All right, gifts is empty. We are not going to stuff that. I try to make sure these envelopes are staying open. Child care, we are not stuffing. So we, we stuff that when my husband gets paid. This is a, considered a bill to me. So I do stuff this throughout um, on the two weeks that my husband gets paid. And then we will pay it um, for the month at the beginning of the month. <laughs> All right, and um, my husband's spending. He is not getting anything today, but let's see if I can open it. Yep, uh, we'll count his real quick. He has $10 left in his spending. So this is more of like, if he wants, he bought a, a sign or two for his office um, and little small things like that. He's been getting into like Legos and stuff. So if he wants to buy a new Lego set or something, that's what his savings is for or his, yeah, his savings. Okay, so we are done with that one. Let's go ahead and jump into our next one here. So this black one is more of our long-term um, sinking funds. All right, dog grooming, we are not gonna stuff today, but I keep forgetting I need to make their appointment. Um, we have 50, 150, 200 for dog grooming. Once I get that appointment scheduled, I'll probably up this another $50 just to make sure we have enough for um, our tip. Our right, Amazon Prime, we are gonna add $4 to the Amazon Prime today. So one, two, three, and four. 
All right, so we have 50, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. We have 82 in Amazon Prime. This is saving up for our subscription renewal in October. All right, Mason, this is his savings account um, or envelope. So let's see if we're gonna do anything today for Mason. We are not, usually I do that in Mason's, um, or I do that when my husband gets paid. So um, we'll count it real quick. So he has 2,000 in his CD that will renew in January. And then we have 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. So once we hit 500, that will go into the bank into a high yield for now. Um, and then we put a placeholder here in the envelope. We don't like to keep too much um, cash. Um, so 500 is kind of my stopping point for when I will um, swap that for a placeholder. All right, home maintenance. Let's see, home maintenance. We are going to add, looks like 20, no, 30 to home maintenance. Awesome. Let me scroll down, make sure I got my denominations right. Yeah, we're gonna add 30 to home maintenance. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, uh, 120, 130, 131, 132. Awesome, so we have 132 in home maintenance. That may end up going towards a shoe cabinet for our foyer area, we'll see. All right, home projects does have a little bit of cash here. This is if we wanna build anything, paint anything, bigger projects like that. 20, 30, 35, and 36. 36 in home projects. All right, let's keep on moving. Work miscellaneous, this is for like if my husband and I or I wanna participate in putting money towards like a, a gift for a coworker, or like for a birthday. You know, I have a very close group of ladies that I work with, so um, there's $5 in here. So we definitely like to celebrate each other's birthdays and um, you know, baby showers, things like that. So that's what that would be for. All right, and then savings challenge. We're gonna go ahead and stuff this today. Um, as you guys saw in my last video, it's unfortunate that the math is not gonna add up to what I wanted it to or what it's supposed to, to be honest. Um, let's go ahead and get our savings challenge book out. I don't know if they're all like this, but we are going to stuff this little row here, which was a total of, let's see, savings challenge, where is it? All right, so 50, a 10, okay, so 63. A 50, a 10, and three ones. One, two, three. All right, so we're putting 63 towards this savings challenge. Let's do purple. So this is supposed to be 500 in 30 days, but if you actually complete all of these little bubbles or these hexagons, it is $324. It's not 500, which stinks because we got we got quite a bit of pages of the of the same thing, and they're they're all same way they don't add up to 500 but that's okay well um, either way we're saving money and um, at the end of it we'll have to decide what we're gonna do with it it'll probably go towards debt but we'll kind of see where we're at in life and what we think is a priority at that time but all right so let's go ahead and count what we have and then we will get moving on the rest of it okay so we have 51, 52, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. So we have 266 in our savings challenge, right? 250, yeah, 266. Um, so once we finish 324, then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. And then we'll jump to another page in this book. So otherwise, I mean, I like the book. Um, they have tons and tons of different ones here. So 340 days. I haven't counted that to make sure that actually equals 300. We did do the first page in here, which was accurate. It was $100 in 30 days, I think. Uh, let's go to the very front. Yeah, so we did this 130 days and it was $100. So we know we're good on there, but they have a ton. They have some bigger ones back here. So, you know, 10,052 weeks. So they have some smaller ones and some larger ones. So I actually really like it. It just sucks that that math was not right on that one that we're currently doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep moving. So that is our black binder. So this white binder is all of our holidays. So I've just kind of oh lord i'm looking for you know very skimmed by on these holidays i i, I always focus on christmas but there's so many other important holidays that i want to make sure that we're not trying to squeeze into our weekly budget so father's day we are going to add a little bit more to that so we're going to add 50 to father's day if i can get the envelope open struggle is real i had to think i got a um oh 
goodness. Let me see if I can get one of my little pins and see if I can open it, pry it open real quick. Let's see. Where is, there it is. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. I may just have to cut them. I have a, I'm, it's very hard for me to make a decision like that because it's like, obviously cutting it is a permanent thing. Um, so it's almost like either I have to cut it or I gotta put the, uh, I need to put the zippers back on. So I may end up just putting the zipper back, zippers back on and just not worrying about it. Come on, almost there. Cause I'm just gonna end up damaging it with these little tacks I'm trying to open it with. All right, we may have to skip over being able to count this. I think there's 100 or 150 in here. So we're gonna add another uh, how much are we doing? We're adding another 50 and it looks like I'm short of 50. Interesting. Mm. All right, let's come back to that. <laughs> All right, we're going to skip July 4th and Grandparents Day. All right, Mason's birthday. We do continue to stuff Mason's birthday. We are doing 40 for him. All right, so let's add two 20s for Mason. 20, 40. All right, so let's see what we're at for Mason. We have a 500 in the bank, and then we have 50, 1, 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 10. Yep, yeah, because that's another 100. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 121. So uh, what's that? 221 and 500, so 721. Cool, we are getting close. Uh, I think I'm going to cut it off at 750. So should be. Hopefully that should be enough. Um, I used to be in the events, so it's hard for me to kind of tone back parties. <laughs> Our anniversary we're gonna skip for now and Halloween, we're gonna jump to Christmas gifts. All right, Thanksgiving, our birthdays, Christmas and Christmas gifts. Let's go ahead and do Christmas gifts and see what we have left for, I'm supposed to stuff Father's Day today. So let's see, so we have 500 um, in the bank and then we have 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we are stuffing 20, 30, and 35 in, um, what's it called, in, um, Christmas gifts. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out where my, my numbers are off. All right. Let's see. 10, 5. All right. So we have 500, 520, 540, 550, 555, 560. Whoa. Nope. 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So we have $559 towards Christmas. All right, so what I might need to do is go into the other envelopes and let's go back and see if we can find where I messed up. So the rest of these are Christmas bonus, um, New Year's, Valentine's Day, Easter, and Mother's Day. So those are the holidays in there. All right, so let's go back and figure out maybe where I missed. So we have a $20 bill here. So did I overdo somebody or something? So let's see animals so the only 50 savings challenge hmm it says i only should have had three 50s and where did i put them all right so we didn't do any of these we did a five in health we didn't do birthday or cake funds child care or his spending okay didn't do anything in there Alright, let's go to our black binder here. Alright, dog grooming. Amazon Prime. Uh, Mason, he didn't get one. Home maintenance, they didn't get that. Guys, am I crazy? Yeah, am I crazy? Let me check my wallet. Make sure I don't put anything in here. Um, I did do gas. There's only 150 here for gas. And that's 120 for groceries, animals, 220s. Miscellaneous. Oh, miscellaneous got a 50. Oh goodness, miscellaneous gets a 20. Oh wow. <laughs> I would have caught that later. What if I went to go use that? Okay, so we are going into Father's Day. Father's Day is supposed to get our 50. 
Awesome. Again, I can't open this thing. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, yeah, I'll have to have my husband get this open and then I might just go ahead and put a, it's, I think it's because this binder has a lot of envelopes in it that the force kind of makes them all shut. Um, because we try to shut the binder, whereas those other two binders are not full. So um, not there's not as many envelopes in there or money, so it's not putting the pressure on the envelopes to close. Um, so I'll have to get that open. But I think there's either 100 or 150 in here, so we're going to add another 50 to Father's Day. All right, and then that will go in there. And that is all so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and our quick transfer tuesday update that should have happened on tuesday but it's happening on sunday um definitely subscribe i appreciate you guys watching and hello to all the new subscribers it's so nice to have you guys here if you guys want to see any specific videos let me know i used to do budget with me's but if you guys are interested in seeing some kind of budget 101s or any other specific videos related to budgeting let me know um or even what i spend my mo grocery money on or whatever let me know if you guys are interested in any other video i appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you in the next one bye